Right, but I can't replace oh, this. Oh, this stuff's different from that. It's a little, it's not much. Yeah, it's a little. Came from different places. Right, yeah. right. This came from the Dorfan Ratchet. This came from the. Uh, right, but they're going to look good together. Yeah, the same it's color. Good. Yeah, it looks going to look just like that. Yeah. I mean, they're close, right? But my problem is if I paint this, i got to take this whole thing to here, which I'm happy to do, but I can't replace it all. I just can't. So if you paint this, because the do you replace, do you touch up paint it or do you paint the whole? Piece? I don't, I have two cans. Two cans. Two cans from the manufacturer. It took me about 12 weeks to get. Okay. Right, but I knew this was going to be a problem, so I ordered them. Okay. Right, because this is a legitimate niche. The Masons and everybody in God came through this door. Yeah. I mean, look at it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's not okay. I, mean, I don't know what the hell that per se, but the you know, people were doing stuff. Right. It's been so long since I've really looked at this. You know, a lot of this shit is just dirt, right? I mean, yeah, when you look at this, it looks like a scratch, right, Catherine? It's just dirt. Yeah, yeah it's so, just dirt. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when they're at, when people are out here, could they, like, there's some stuff over there, it's probably dirt, but. We can wipe it down for you. Yeah, let's wipe it down to see if there's any other. Yeah, we can wipe it down. One time I thought stuff was scratched up here, you know, but. Well, somebody has wiped like that down, you can see where the. Kind of yeah. half ass white marks are, yeah. yeah. But, you know, obviously this is more of a problem because everybody walks by it. Right, right. And if I have enough paint, I'll take it around here, right? But I'm telling you, I can spot near these, but it might be, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, the right. fix might not be. I can take black magic marker, you'd never see it. So the, the, my point is yeah, the uh, fix might not be worth the potato, yeah, is what I'm saying, uh, right? Grandma and great aunt did that on a family heirloom painting. They Instead of getting a painter to touch it up, a, you know, an oil painting, they use magic marker on the. On the on they look bad? I don't know, yeah. Everybody kind of laughed about it. Well, it's that's a very painting, got, right? At one point, somebody in the family decided to. Right. to so do we're going to replace right. that one because that's ugly. These I'll Thank touch you. up, but that's all I can do with them. I'm going to repaint the door. Thank you. Okay. Good. Are you getting the key? Did you get all the I have your key in my truck. You want to give that to him? I'll I give that to him. Okay, so do we have all the Casita keys? I don't have any more keys. Danny's told me he's turned over everything. I had to borrow one from her. Yes. Ask Andy to make sure we have all the keys. About 90% sure. The, re the reason I say that is like I went and bought a bunch of keys, you know, made, you made them off the original. Mm -hmm. German ones. No, German no, 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 over there. Right. And it was like, God, it's like, oh, it unlocks it, maybe, but it doesn't lock it. You know, the, like, bad keys. You know, the copy wasn't so good, so any real keys would be better. Would be yeah, great. I don't think we have system. any, but I will ask. That okay, question. and you will give him. I will give him money. whatever we have. I don't need the keys. Right, I don't want to. Oh, you got me a little cat. You didn't have to do that. A remote control cat. Look. A remote control cat. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah grandkids, I take it. Good, are we getting down? We're down to the last. Wall lights need concrete repair. Where's a piece of wood trim that's warped? I don't know what you're talking about there. Well, go back to the wall. You're talking about the well lights the need well. concrete repair. That's down there under the motor core. Right, but they've all been cleaned up because I got pictures that he sent me that I flipped the fuck out about because I said, why did you leave that like that? Right. And I've got pictures after it was done. Right? And you can't seal those lights all the way. You're not supposed to because they get humidity right, in right. them. We right? might take a quick look at that. Okay. I mean, some of that stuff I know he cleaned up. Right. Okay. Yeah, because I blew a gasket when you sent me that picture. It, Andy? Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, you can't leave shit like that. That's oh, it was horrible. It looking. was horrible. It was horrible looking. I was like, that's not okay in any fashion. Good. So. It wasn't okay in a All right, federal house. Right. Good. Well, it's not good on Section 8 housing, right? So the only thing that really leaves is the soffits. The what? The soffits. I'm going to tell you that they've been done twice. And here's my theory on that, and you can agree or disagree with me, but this is what I think what happened. So during construction, we sealed them, right? And then they sat for how long before the gunners went on? Long time, right? So then we came back and sealed them again, and then they sat because we couldn't put any gutter on them because we were out of money and we were waiting. 
So, and I'm going to say this for Captain because you say, well, you're going to throw her under the bus. No, I'm not throwing her under okay, the bus. Okay, I'm just, okay. I'm I, just I, telling you. I don't know how it should be done. This is how it should be done. For, for, for when it right. needs to be done again? You, it can't be done again. You'd have to re-skin the whole house. Re-skin. You have to take so, out all the wood? No, the face should, No, the wood's all been sanded and resealed again after the first time. Passwater did it again. Because I called Kike yesterday and I said, I've got a meeting tomorrow. Did you finish that? And he said, yeah, we finished it all. But he sees sp spots. He's seeing spots because they happened prior to that gutter being put yeah, on. So, some of that stuff is like warped. You know? The warped stuff I'm going to refasten, right? Okay. But here's what happened, okay? So this is your detail. So this is the bottom of the fascia board. And this is the bottom of the wood. So the wood lines up flush with it, right? So this, this right here lines up flush. In my opinion, what's happening is the water's coming down here and it's running back here, which is why it's getting stained. On every detail I've ever seen on fascia board, it has a relief there. And it has this relief for a drip edge relief. So when this water comes over here, it drips down. This is running down here and going back this way. And I think the gutter solved it but I think all the stuff that's happened would happen before the gutters were put back on. Oh, that's part of it. Yeah, I mean, there's all this it's silicone kind of our stuff that, Well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, caulking and shit. What I told them to do when they resealed it was, I knew this is where this water was penetrating into this, and it was yeah. wicking into the boards. So I said, go to this end when you go up there and reseal it and sand it and caulk that to try to eliminate that water from getting in the end of that wood. That's okay. what we so, do. So, so That's why you see you the caulking. You think it needs to be caulked? It has to be caulked. Will, will you, you put your already, down here? We haven't already recocked it? We recocked it when I did it the second time. It just kind of doesn't look very good. It's washed. And it was because the water was running across that. I know what caused that. And if you ever look at any house you'll ever see, it's got a relief. And your detail doesn't. Mm -hmm. And I'll send you a picture of it because I have it. And I'm not looking to blame because it's a highlight of the house, right? I'm going to do what I can to give it as much love we as I can. We brought that metal on purpose down. I was no, you didn't. The, no, from the roof. This metal, this has a metal edge, and so it didn't wrap back up. Photo. Yeah, it comes back around like this. It goes like this. And nails right here underneath the wood. There you go. It does that. It's but let me show you. This. Touching that because that was her whole idea to wrap this so that the right. Water. But you didn't create a leaf here, so this wood dies in right there. So that point right there okay. is where the problem is. And let me show you because I got a picture of it. But it's working now that the gutter is on there. Yeah, I'm gonna see that. Okay. Sounds flush. Yeah, I do see that. We made it, we made it all clean and nice and modern looking. You did, looking, and it that's became it. a problem because okay. of this and then the lack of not putting gutter on it. Okay. So the reason that I had to do it the second time was because the water was running back on it. Okay. And then the reason it happened again is because we delayed putting the gutter back on. Now that the gutter's on, there's no water that's getting here anymore. Okay. I'm happy to do it again, but it cost me $8,000 to do it last time, and I can't do it again. What, when you resealed the wood? I resealed it, sanded it, because we thought it was the wrong product, right? Remember that conversation with Basswater? Yeah. Well, wow, he was totally perplexed. Right. And, and see, that's how this was designed. It was never designed with a relief there where it would drop off here and not wick into this wood. Once we put the gutter on it, it stopped it. But between the time we redid it and the time the gutter went on, it was, what, five months? So it happened again. And I just can't afford to do it again. I just can't. I'm happy to go up and take a look at the warped ones and refasten them the best I can. Um, if can we, we just put new pieces in that are warped? No. There aren't that think, many that are warped. Yeah, but I don't think you need to. Because I think if you do, they'll stick out, right? Different it'll, aged and stuff, right, it'll have, have a different look to it. It'll look like it was repaired it. because you put in a piece of wood I think there. it tightens it. Right. So, I don't know what you want me to do with that. Okay, I'm not been out of shape about that. I just no, I understand, mind. but that's, I just like it too. I would like it to be a lot cleaner, a lot crisper. Yeah. I'm with you. And right? I'm going to fight about that. I'm, I'm more concerned about my stone. And we'll get that solved. That's okay. what I'm more concerned right. about. And I'll tell you, I know what happened with it. It's the water. 
I guarantee it's the water Plus coming water behind it. Right. It's the water coming in behind it because the fun.